That was Senator Kamala Harris on what it would mean for her to become the first woman vice president. And as she gets ever so close to breaking that barrier, she's facing the kind of criticism that's going to sound familiar to a lot of women. In a column in the Wall Street Journal, Peggy Noonan writes this. For her part, vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris is, when on the trail, giddy. She's dancing with drum lines and beginning rallies with What's Up Florida. She's throwing her head back and laughing a loud laugh, especially when nobody said anything funny. She's the younger candidate going for the younger vote, and she's going for a happy warrior vibe. But she's coming across as insubstantial, frivolous. No word on if the president dancing at his rallies is frivolous, too. Let's bring in Karine Jean-Pierre, senior advisor to the Biden campaign and chief of staff to vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris. Claire is still here. Karine, I just have to say it, it causes me physical pain to read that from Peggy. She's one of the people for whom I saw what was possible for myself in a career in politics um, as a communicator. And she's someone I don't just admire. I revere her words. Some of the speeches she's written, I have devoted to memory. So to hear her her, um, take out her very skilled cudgel and smash it against a woman who has broken the kinds of barriers that every one of us has faced, Peggy too, is searing for me. Um, wh wh what is your response? So, hey, Nicole, good to see you, first of all. Let me just say this, and this is breaking news to Donald Trump and his allies. Women will be one of the deciding factors, one of the powerful deciding factors in this election. And I want to say this as well, is our campaign is talking directly to them. Here's what people have to remember. Millions of women saw themselves in Kamala Harris when she uh, was announced, when Joe Biden selected her as a running mate, when she accepted the nomination um, at, at the convention for to become the vice presidential nominee. And on that debate stage where she had to speak up and stand up for so many women in this country who feel like they do not have a voice. And that is what we have to remember, is that women are, 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 are going to be a huge voting block this coming election. And here's the thing, women have dealt with so much under this, this administration, the failures of this administration, the daily failures of this administration, and this crisis that we're dealing with. They are facing the brunt of, of what we're going through um, with this crisis right now. And, and, and the other part of this too, Nicole, is Donald Trump and his allies are going to do everything they can to make sure that we are not talking about coronavirus. This is a distraction as well, and we cannot let that happen. We have to continue to talk about coronavirus and how it's affecting millions of people every day. Hundreds of people a day are dying from coronavirus. Our economy is being destroyed. And thirdly, we have, uh, you know, we have, uh, we have this crisis that's really hurting us and our, our and overwhelming our our, um, our 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 health our health system and that is where we are right now and so we cannot stop talking about the issues and that's what our campaign is going to do every day for the last eight days.